this false ego is characterized as the doer, as an instrument, and as an effect. It is further characterized as serene, active, or dull, according to how it is influenced by the modes of goodness, passion, and ignorance. Uttitam karananta, uttitam karanaktam cha, padyattam chiti lakshanam, shanta guru vimura tam iti va shad ahankrite. So last night we discussed Sankarsan. Sankarsan uh, Pradhamna Niruddha. Uh, Vasudev Sankarsan Pradhamna Niruddha. Four expansion are there for taking charge of four kinds of uh, different activities. So this false ego and the material world <coughs> and this body, uh, they are also divided into three, uh, Shanta, Ghora, and Murakta. According to the modes of material nature, uh, shanta means sober, serene, uh, persons who are in the modes of goodness, for them this material world is manifest in the matter of its constituency, and those who are in modes of goodness, they can see things as they are. And the ghora, those who are in the modes of passion, they are unnecessarily going on making plan and full of activities without any aim of life. And Murhattam, that is like animal, do not know what is the aim of life, what for he is working, what is the value of life, nothing of this sort. So this false ego and this material body, I belong to this material world, I belong to this community, sect, or nation, so many, they are all based on ahankar, ahankar vimurātma, kattāham iti manne. Actually, every one of us who are in this material world, they are, we are all under the full control of this illusory energy and working differently according to the influence of the different modes of material nature. Uh, I am not real kartha, prakṛta kiramānāni, gunai karmāni, gunai karmāni. I am the influence, under the influence of different gunas, and still falsely I am thinking uh, that I am the doer, uh, I have got the capacity of acting, uh, and the effect, whatever I have produced, it is due to my labor. <coughs> this is called uh, illusion. Moho, moho ayang, ahang mameti. This conception of life is moho. Uh, moho. Uh, delusion or illusion, just like uh, a person in fever is convulsion, is lying unconscious, thinking something else. Uh, this is our position. Mohaya. Uh, uh, 
says, our real business is how to get out of this moha. So Vāsudeva, uh, Vāsudeva Sankarsan, Pradyamna Niruddha, they are controlling by different uh, senses and the sense controller, different demigods. It is a very complicated situation, but we can get out of it by controlling the senses. That is also very difficult at the present moment, especially in the Kali Yuga. Uh, that is also very difficult. The easiest way, as suggested by Shastras and great personality, is Bhajabhasudhi. Jatpada Panka Japalasa Vilasa Bhaktya Karmasayam Grathitam Udgrathayanti Shanta. Jatpada Panka Japalasa Vilasa Bhaktya Udgrathayanti Shanta. Tadavarna Rikta Matayo Jatayun Nirudhya Sutra Ganasta Maranam Bhajavasudhi. Uh, karmasayam, this false ego, we are creating different hopes of activity. I shall do this, I shall do that. Grathitam, uh, they are very deep rooted. Grathitam. So we have to pluck out this karmasayam, the root of karma. Uttastha, uh, uh, then uh, phalanmukha and phalaprap. There are three stages. Karmasa. Putastha in the seed form, putastha. Then phalanmukha, sprouting. Then uh, prapta, prarabdha. In the beginning this of prarabdha, not yet manifest. And prarabdha means manifest. It is the same example as we have given several times. Infection. We have infected, suppose I have infected some chronic disease or infectious disease. It is not yet manifest, but it is kutastha. It is in the seed, seed form there is. Then all of a sudden we get some fever is condition, uh, that is called uh, phalanum. And when it is high fever and quite manifest, the delusion and so many other things, that is called prarab. So we are all undergoing prarab of phalanum, manifest follow for our past deeds. Uh, <coughs> So they are very deep-rooted. It is very difficult to uproot them. But there is one process. That is the commandment, Vajumāsudeva. Uh, the others, there are many yogis, jnanis, they are trying to get out of the uh, situation, putastha, phalanmo, prarabdha, situation of our life. Hmm. But Śrīmad Bhāgavad said that the devotees, uh, they can very easily uproot the causes of our material, uh, miserable condition of life. Jatpāda paṅkaca palāsa vilāsa bhaktyā. Vilāsa. Vilāsa means enjoying. And bhaktā means devotees. They are always attached to the lotus feet of the Supreme Personality of God, Krishna. Sabai mana Krishna padāra vinda. The devotees are always engaged. They are always attached. Padāra vinda, aravinda, lotus flower, and the lotus feet. So devotees, they are concerned always seeing the lotus feet of the Lord. 
Uh, they do not try to see even the face. Uh, beginning with the lotus feet, the devotee begins offering uh, tulsi leaves with sandalwood pearl and offering to the lotus feet of the Lord. That is their vilasa, enjoyment. The pada pankaja palasa vilasa. They enjoy. Uh, that is transcendental bliss, uh, offering a little sandalwood pulp and tulsi leaves on the lotus feet of the Lord. That pada palasa vilasa, mankaja palasa vilasa bhakta. Vilasa. That is their vilasa. Vilasa uh, means enjoyment. Bhoga vilasa. Devotees, uh, they have no bhog. They have vilasa, uh, enjoyment. And indirectly, this is also bhog. Transcendental bliss, ecstasy. Sometimes they are crying. Sometimes they are severing. Sometimes they are laughing. There are eight kinds of sattvic transformation. So when one is completely pure devotee, these symptoms are visible. That is called vilas, enjoyment. The pada pankaja palasa vilasa bhaktya karmasaya. When one is engaged in that vilasa, enjoyment, spiritual, blissful life, then the illusive cause of karma uh, becomes banished. Karmani nirdhati kinti cha bhakti bhaja. In the Brahma Sangita, we say uh, they are no more interested uh, with the attraction of fruitive activities. Karmasa, grathitam, very deep rooted. Jatpada pankaja palasa vilasa bhaktya karmasam grathitam udgrathanti. Very easily they can uproot. Tadmanna riktamatayo. Riktamatayo, those who are attached to live in the forest, in the mountain, in the cave, alone in a secluded place, and with great endeavor trying to stop the agitation of the senses, tadvanna riktamatayo jatayo niruddhya, sutagana. Niruddha means control. The yogis especially, they do that. And jnanis also, they read philosophy, discuss philosophy. The yogis control the senses, yoga, indriya, samyama. In this way, they are trying to get out of this uh, chain of uh, fruitive activities, karmasa angat. But devotees being attracted to the flavor of the lotus flower of Krishna's feet, lotus flower, Krishna, his face is called uh, also lotus eye. His navel is called Padmanabha. His, uh, his feet is called uh, lotus feet, uh, Pada Padma. And his garland is also Padma. He is very much fond of Padma. So, uh, when a devotee is attached to the lotus flower of Krishna's feet, automatically they forget the all such material activities. They haven't got to endeavor separate. Uh, the jnanis and the yogis, they are trying to, by their endeavor, by the different endeavors, they are trying to get out of this <coughs> entanglement. But uh, the devotees, simply by engaging himself, uh, they Vāsudeva bhakti, Vāsudeva parāyana, uh, simply by bhakti they come out of the entanglement without any difficulty. Uh, that is stated in this verse. 
तदमन्न रिक्तमतयो जतयो निरुद्ध सूतगनास्तमरणम सूतगना अस्तम स्टॉप फंक्शनिंग दे कैनॉट डू सो नाइस देर फॉर शरण्यम भग वासुदेव वासुदेव इज द अल्टीमेट शरण्यम अल्टीमेट सेंटर भज वासुदेव इन अदर अदर प्लेस ऑल्सो इट इज सेट वासुदेवी भगवत भगवती भक्ति योग प्रेरित जनयति आसु ज्ञान वैराग ज्ञान चतहितक जनयति आसु वैराग्यम ज्ञान चतहितक वन कैनॉट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द कॉज आर ए वासुदेव भक्त टू बिकम सो मच रिनाउंस जस्ट लाइक इन इंडिया दिस यंग मैन फ्रॉम अमेरिका and you know uh, they are surprised how they have become so much aloof from material activities uh, it is surprising uh, uh, that is it is not surprising because bhagavad vasudeva they have taken to the center of vasudeva if you do also you shall become uh, but we are not in plan in india Oh, Basudev, we have, we have, we know everything of Basudev. Uh, Hare Krishna, ah, oh, this is what you can teach. We know everything. Uh, this is the Indian disease, uh, because familiarity breeds contempt. Because Indians are familiar with the name of Basudev, with the name of Hare Krishna, uh, they think. Uh, just like in Europe and American city, the way these boys and girls they go for some kirtan, and the Indian people they say, "Oh, we know everything. We have now come here to learn how to eat meat, how to drink wine." <laughs> this is the condition. But so far so they have. This is not very much appealing. But this is the only way to become out of entanglement. Otherwise, this shanta puro bimurattam miti va shad ahankite. We shall always remain in this false ego that I am this body, I am of this material world. No information of the spiritual world. Nati vidu shat gati ni Vishnu. They have no information. They do not know the heart of the thing. Everyone is declaring, "I am my self-interest," but they do not know what is self-interest. Nothing we do. Heart of the thing is Vishnu. Durasaya ji, what he wrote tomorrow. Durasaya, the hope which will never be fulfilled. Uh, what is that hope? That trying to adjust this material world. To become happy, this is durasa. Durasa yaji vahi rathamani. And the leaders, they are also leading in that way. Uh, give up this Vedic culture, throw away. The leaders said openly, they are, throw away your shastras in the water. No more shastras. Now we take to industry, technology. If you want to become happy, uh, just like the Americans, like the Europeans, so the leaders, such leaders, have been described in the Bhagavad Simad Bhagavat. Andha, andha means blind. They do not know how to lead people. What is the aim of life? Uh, the aim of life is not to. Uh, understand or learn some technical uh, knowledge by which we can make some bodily comfort. That is not aim of life. The aim of life is different. Uh, we are part and parcel of God. Mamayi vamsi jiva bhuta. 
Now we are separated. Uh, not separated, uh, just like a criminal is not separated from the state. He is in the state, but in a different condition. Uh, similarly, we cannot be separated from God. That is not possible. Uh, we are part and parcel of God, but we, we can be separated by disease condition. Just like my finger cannot be separated or can be separated, but in the diseased condition it cannot work. It cannot work in its original constitutional position. Similarly, due to our this material disease, we cannot properly serve the Supreme Personality of God in our whole we are part and He is the whole, uh, the complete. We are not uh, some or other detached. Uh, so we cannot be separated, but under certain conditions it appears that we are separated. Uh, this is forgetfulness, moralness. So we have to revive this whole concept, that is the whole subject matter of the Sankapilajapi, Kapilajapi. How we are becoming degraded uh, from the original state of Krishna consciousness. Uh, so our only business is how to revive again. Uh, that revival is possible only by this process. Bhaja Vasudeva. Vasudeva Sarvamiti Samahatma Sudulla. Uh, Sudhullava Mahatma, not ordinary Mahatma. Mahatma, Mahanatma, Jasya, it is Mahatma. Not crippled Atma. This is my community, this is my nation, this is my family. I have to maintain it, I have to make them. This is not Mahatma. Mahatma means one who is broader, Krishna consciousness, Sarvajoni issue. Krishna is the Supreme Father of all living entities, and they are suffering. Tato vimukha cetasa maya sukhaya bhara mudvahatu vimura. Prahlad Maharaj says, I am simply, I mean to say, anxious perplexed only for these persons who are bereft of Krishna consciousness. So I am thinking of that. This, this man is Mahatma. He is thinking of all living entities who are bereft of Krishna consciousness and making plan how to again take them to Krishna consciousness because uh, this is the cause of all unhappiness, that suffering. And they are making plan. Maya sukhaya. Maya sukhaya means the, the happiness which has no standing, false, illusory. Uh, for this purpose, bharamad bhato bimura, big, big adventure, uh, big, big things they are contemplating, planning. Uh, <coughs> that is called ghora, ghoru rupa. Here it is called ghora. Shanta ghora. If you go to some industrial place in a factory, iron factory like Tata, you will see how they are engaged in ghora activities, horrible activities. Uh, after all, you have to eat something, uh, but they have uh, planned a ghora activity, very fearful, ugra karma. Uh, by nature's way, Krishna has given us everything. Uh, you can simply work little, you get food grains. Krishna says like that. Krishna never says that you open big, big, fearful, horrible industries. You never find in Bhagavad Gita. For your livelihood, Krishna says very simple method. Uh, 
अन्नाभवूतानि अन्ना अन्न इप्रोड्यूस अन्न वाई वैर आई मीन से प्लैनिंग बिग बिग इंडस्ट्रीज दि वाइल्ड विल कम फ्रॉम अमेरिका थ्रू दि चैनल एंड दि एरिबिया विल रिफ्यूज टू सप्लाई वायल देर विल बी पावर प्रॉब्लम सो मेनी थिंग्स वन आफ्टर एन अदर वन आफ्टर एन But Krishna does not say that do do all these things. Go up. No, uh, he says Allah Bhavanti Bhutani. You just produce food grain and Bhavanti Bhutani. Bhutani means all living entities. They will be stout and strong by eating. Uh, what do you want more? Allah Bhavanti Bhutani. But Janya Tanna Sambhava. And if there is sufficient rain, then automatically, very it will be very easy to grow food grains. But then not only if there is no food, then no rain, then your so-called tractor will not help you, or knowledge, agricultural knowledge will not help you. You will have to depend on Krishna for rains. But then not only Sambhava. Uh, and jagat bhavati pujanya if you perform jagga then there will be regular rainfall in the college group there is no jagga uh, therefore there is anavrishti anavrishti the college group people will forget performing jagga they will be busy in ghoro rupa Activities, horrible and fear soul activities, not jagga. We will neglect jagga. So then, how you are these bolts and nuts and rubber tires will help you. Therefore, there is scarcity of anna. That will increase more and more. It will so increase that now you are getting anna. By paying high price, but time will come when even if you prepare to pay price, there will be no more on uh, that time is coming. Naturally, what people will eat, they will eat <coughs> mansa and roots and seeds, no milk, no sugar, no wheat. These things will be stopped. Uh, you know, as we are uh, becoming entangled in guru rupa activities uh, or mudha activities, then the more we shall be entangled with suffering from material existence. Uh, they do not know the, what is the uh, actually interest. Nati vidu sartha gati ni Vishnu. Uh, so therefore, uh, this planning, real planning is this bhagnasam dham. Uh, bhagnasam means a regulative, regulative life. So we have come to this world. There will be no difficulty for our maintenance. Peacefully, let us live and save time for spiritual consciousness, for advancement of. तपो दिव्यं जेना शुद्धे तो सत्ता वी हैव टू रेक्टिफाई प्यूरिफाई आवर एक्जिस्टेंस दिस प्रेजेंट एक्जिस्टेंस इज नॉट प्यूरिफाई अदरवाइज व्हाई यू आर एक्सेप्टिंग डेथ बिकॉज़ द एक्जिस्टेंस इज नॉट प्यूरिफाई बट यू डोंट केयर फॉर इट वी आर सो डल इज इट अ मूढ़ा मूढ़तम मूढ़तम There are so many big big scholars of Bhagavad Gita, but they do not know the first lessons of Bhagavad Gita. First lessons of Bhagavad Gita. First lesson of Bhagavad Gita is there: Na hanate hanmane sariri, na jayate va amriyate va kadachit nitta shastrayang na hanate hanmane sariri. 
Who is thinking of this? The nahannati hannamane sharire, if after the destruction of this body I am not annihilated, that is a fact. But who is making research about it? Uh, and still, they are big, big scholars of Bhagavad Gita. And they do not know even the ABCD of Bhagavad Gita. Uh, this is the first lesson of Bhagavad Gita. Dehi nasminya tha dehi kaumana jovanindira. Tatha dehantara prati dhira sattva namayate. Nagayate vamirate vakadachi. Nahanna tehana. They do, these things do not strike even their uh, dull brain. That if uh, atma, I am atma, I am the soul, I do not die even after the annihilation of this body. But uh, that means I will have to accept another body. But is this very good job? Why not seek after the, our original? position, when there is no more change of body. Uh, this question does not arise. Uh, but it is very easy. Uh, that is, for that reason Bhagavad-gītā is there. Everyone can avoid this birth and death. That is the business of human life, how to stop jarāmarana-mokṣā, vitarāga-bhayak-prada. Uh, everything is there. This is the aim of life, but not. Uh, we are under this false ego and this body, and some of us in the modes of goodness. Uh, that is also another kind of bondage. I am Brahmana, I am very learned scholar, uh, but that's all right. But still you have to go farther. Uh, Above the brahmanical stage, not simply uh, become proud of having nice birth, full of knowledge and learning. That is not sufficient. The learning should be uh, perfect. What is that perfect learning? The Vedaista Sarvai Yahami Vabhita. If you are actually learned, if you are proud of becoming Vedānti or knowledge in Vedānta, then you must be aware of Krishna. Vedaista sadvai ahami vabhid. Otherwise, samaye vahi keva. Dharma sāna sthita puncha viśyakṣena kathāsaja nūtpāda edurati nijadi. Samaye vahi keva. Either you become shānta or ghora, or mūra, three kinds of position in this material world. Shānta, shānta means in the brahminical qualification. And ghora means activities, material activities, uh, uh, fruitive activities. And mūra, just like animal, neither shānta nor ghora, simply animal, Udaram bharita, sārtham udaram bharita. Sārtham, interest means if one somehow or other fulfills his belly, then he thinks, now all my mission is fulfilled. Uh, this is called murattam. Uh, Sāntam udaram bharita. Dākham kutumba varana. Uh, generally in this age people will be interested to fulfill his own belly, because that is also a very difficult task nowadays. To get sufficient food daily, that is also a problem. And if one can maintain his family in these hard days, family means husband, wife, and a few children, then dakham kutumma bharana. Then he is just like Maharaj dukha. Dukha Dukha means very expert. Those who are maintaining big family, working very nicely, many business, they are called dukha. So in the Kolijo, if one can maintain a family, small family, then he will be considered dukha. Dakham kutumma bharana. Otherwise, if one can fulfill his belly only, 
is all interest is fulfilled. Uh, this will be the condition of this age. Uh, that means murattam, mostly murattam. They do not know nati vidu sātya gati uh, So this is the position, uh, murattam at this, in this age. Rajasthama, uh, murattam. Some of them are busy in ghoro activities uh, and some of them are murās. Generally they are murās. Uh, the so-called active person, they are also murās. Uh, that is described in the Bhagavad-gītā. Namāna pradaddhanti mūrā duskiti na narātama. So, unless you come to Krishna consciousness, unless you become a pure devotee of Krishna, then uh, our life is unsuccessful. Uh, it has begun, uh, since we have come to this material world, under different influence, we have uh, come to this condition of shanta, ghora, mura, uh, but we have to become above this condition, even, even above this shanta condition. Uh, this conception that I have become now brahminically qualified, I have got knowledge, I can see things, jñānaṁ, vijñānaṁ, that is not sufficient. You have to stop your birth and death. This process you have to stop. Then your life is successful. And that can be easily done if you become Krishna conscious. Uh, you have to uh, become devotee of Vāsudeva. Vāsudeva bhagavati bhakti yoga You have to uh, take the shelter of bhakti yoga. Vāsudev, then your life will be successful. Uh, sa mahatma sudurla Vāsudeva sarva meti sa mahatma You have to become sudurlava mahatma, not cheap mahatma. Uh, cheap mahatma will not help you. Uh, you have to become uh, real mahatma. What is real mahatma? Mahatma-nitsamāṁ prārtha